Hello, and welcome to another creative session. My name's Tim. I'm one of the creative marketing tutors here at UB, and I'm going to walk you through the messaging framework. It's a tool that we use as marketers to help promote a new product or service to a group of customers. I'm going to be a little cheeky and use the, our new Bachelor of Digital Innovation to help us explain this idea. So with the messaging framework, it's often broken up into three main areas. The brand, which is an overview of the company, as well as an overview of the product or service that we're selling. Then we have the personas, which is the groups of people that we're choosing to promote to. And then a deeper view of the product and how this product relates to each of our personas. Okay, so with the brand, we start with a company description. So this is how you describe your company. Then we move on to the tagline, so a catchphrase or slogan that you use to describe your company or product. The vision is an aspirational picture of the world in this future, so the future with your product or service in it. Then the mission is how are you going to help make your vision a reality? And then the overall value proposition. This is the primary value statement describing the benefits of your brand or product. So for UB, our company description is UB Colleges is New, and New Zealand's largest specialized creative and techno, technology company. We've been fueling the creative and technology industry for over 30 years with talented animators, filmmakers, designers, techies, and game developers. Our tagline is, you make, you learn, and your creative career starts here. The vision for the, batch, the new bachelor is graduates will be able to influence organizational change in response to ethical, cultural, sustainable, and diverse market dynamics. Whereas the mission is that the Bachelor of Digital Innovation aims to provide graduates for the professional marketplace who have a mix of creative, technical, and marketing skills. And then lastly, our overall value proposition is that the digital innovation graduates will have a unique combination of knowledge, creativity, innovation, communication, and professional skills. Now we move on to our personas. We start by identifying our core personas, specific groups of people that we want to be promoting to. Then our personalized value proposition, which is the unique benefits of our brand or product for this persona. And then the user cases is the situations in which the persona uses your product or service. So for us, our core personas, we may want to be promoting specifically to school leavers, uh, graduates or current tertiary students, or mature students, uh, which would be students who have studied before or may be studying for the first time at a later stage in life. So looking at the school leaver, their personalized value proposition could be that the Bachelor of Digital Innovation provides a taste of a range of different career opportunities. And the user case is when they're unsure whether or not to follow a creative or marketing career. For our graduate, they may want a creative program with more practical applications. And the user case may be that they're wanting to pursue a more creative career than they have in the past or they're currently studying. And then a mature student, they could be looking at something quite different where the program offers all the tools they need to establish a new business idea. And for them, their user case could be that they are wanting to gain skills to develop a new enterprise. Lastly, we move on to the product. This is where we can start to get very specific in targeting each persona group. So we start with a product or feature name. This can be the official name of the product or feature, or it can be an idea that your persona is kind of looking for. 
Then we move on to this top level statement. So this statement describes the benefit of the product or feature. Then the messaging pillar is the theme that sets your product or feature apart from others. And then the proof points are details and differentiators that support the messaging pillar. So going back to our school lever, who's unsure whether or not to follow a creative or marketing career, the product name or feature name could be that it's a design program with marketing involved. The top level statement could be that it allows for a wider range of skills and options. The messaging pillar could be that very little, if any, design courses involve such a large amount of marketing. And then the proof points for us here are our papers that we provide. So it could be that we provide integrated marketing communications, storytelling, and collaborative studio. For our graduate student who's looking for a more creative program, they could be looking more at a marketing with design elements. So their top level statement could be application focused design learning. The messaging pillar could be that they're going to learn practical design skills designed for real life application. And these could be web and graphic design, digital marketing and branding. For our mature student who's looking at developing a new enterprise, their product or feature name is our innovation. So the, our top level statement for them could be that the business innovation papers allows for a more dynamic learning experience. And their messaging pillar could be built on a place where you get a break from the rules and set new ones. And then the papers that we provide that support this are guaranteed work experience at some point in the bachelor, and dynamic electives that we offer, and the innovation models that we teach. So you may be wondering, what do I do with all this information? Well, this is where the elevator pitch comes in. So for those of you who don't know, an elevator pitch is a pitch presentation that you can do within the span of an elevator trip, which usually comes to about 30 seconds. So I'm going to use the school lever and the information that we've gathered for them to put together a pitch if I was talking to a school lever. So here's an example. Are you graduating high school next year and are unsure what you're wanting to study? You enjoyed creative subjects at school, but you're wanting a wider range of career paths? Well, here at UB, we have an exciting new Bachelor of Digital Innovation that combines a wider range of creative, marketing, and business topics, including integrated marketing communications and storytelling, as well as having a number of collaborative studio papers to apply your learning. So what are you saying? Do you want to start your creative career now? So that's all I have for you for today. I hope it's been helpful and I hope it's gotten you a little excited about some of the things that we do here at UB. So if you're interested in studying the Bachelor of Digital Innovation or the Diploma in Creative Marketing, get in contact with our uh, enrollment team and they'll be able to help you. Otherwise, uh, feel free to like the post and comment down uh, which persona you best fit in. Love to hear from you. Thank you.